What up, what up, what up, what up, guys? I got a special super duper edition of Talks with Talented Mr. Salas. I don't think that's the name of our podcast, but I just made it up right now. So the guest that we have today is Daniel Ford, and Daniel Ford is the only reason that I'm sitting on your phone, on your tablet, and on your desktop PC, because when I got introduced to Daniel Ford's content, I was a realtor. I was a six-figure realtor in Austin, Texas, and I had my suits, and I had my cigars, and I had my watches, and I had all this, and I needed this big condo. I needed this room full of suits, and I just needed stuff. And I was a different guy, and I valued things so much more differently and, than I do now. And I realized that I wanted to help people, that I wanted to put myself online. And I ran into this girl, Daniel Ford, and there's always like marketing gurus that tell you how to do this, this, and this, but they didn't seem real. And Danielle says like, and cool, and bro, and hella. And she was just, I just spoke her language. And she spoke to me, like I felt like she spoke to me. So I picked up what she was putting down and I would listen to her videos on my, and so I was in Austin traffic. You know, for those guys who know Austin, it's just ridiculous. And I'll listen to her videos, like every single one of them and her freemium. This was like back in uh, maybe 2014, maybe 2015, something like that. Her freemium was just on point. So she brought, she, one, in one of her videos, she said, I remember at a certain point in life that all my friends are going out on Friday and Saturday night and I decided to stay in and build my business. And I was 27 at this time. And at this time, I was having a really good time in Austin, Texas. I was young, had a lot of money, friends, you know, everything. I had a blast. But when she said that, I was like, man, Danielle Ford is speaking to Frank Salas in this moment in time. It's just how I, I felt like she was in my brain. So I decided to make a pact to not go out for one year, just see what happens. Just like, look, uh, Danielle's doing what I want to do. That's what she said it takes. I gave it a year, you know? If she's wrong, then she's wrong. I gave it a shot. And I tried it out. And so this is a time, so a time machine back to July of 2015. I was like, yo, I'm gonna need some money to be able to do this thing. Cause I know it's gonna take some time. So I banged out as many real estate houses as I could. And I did 30 transactions that month. And I was like, what up, this is really good. And I almost got addicted to the money again. Cause it was a job. It wasn't a business. If I stopped selling homes, if I stopped unlocking doors, I was no longer going to get paid. And this girl, Danielle Ford, was in my brain when I'm driving around Austin, Texas, talking about, you need a digital product. You need a list. You need a funnel. You need this. I'm like, you right, D. You right, you know? And so finally, I decide in October 1st that I'm quitting real estate money. There's no way I'm accepting money. Like, i doing this whole thing, and I launched myself out into the public. My first month, I made $10,000. And that was a lot of money you know, to be making online, but realistically I was making like 15 to $30,000 per check. So I was like, damn, this sucks. I'm poor. You know, like how do people live like this? And then I realized that not a lot of people knew how to make money online, but because I listened to D I'm going to say this again, because I listened to Daniel Ford, I was able to three months later, and this is my embarrassing story that I promised Daniel Ford. So, um, I met her at Periscope convention and like, you know, I never told her any of this, by the way. Like, I was always a fan of her and I was always supportive. But, like, when uh, when I met her, I just, like, blushed. And I was, like, really just, like, oh, my God, it's Dean's. Like, I was starstruck because <laughs> I just got so much value from her and she changed my life. And, you know, every chance that I get, I always thank Dee. You know, honestly, if it wasn't for Daniel Ford, I would still be in Austin, Texas. I would have a different set of uh, physical beliefs, more beliefs, just like my life is better for listening to this woman. And I want to share her with you guys. Cause if you found any value from me and if I have any street cred with you, I want to use that. I want to leverage that. So you can get in some real knowledge, some real game from somebody that's ahead of me, Daniel Ford. So Daniel Ford, what up girl? What up? What up? Thank you so much for having me on here. Um, that is so funny. First of all, thank you so much for saying that. And I really appreciate you do always come out onto my stuff and you're like, thank you for the free stuff. And you always um, mention that that helped you get started. And that really helps me because especially in this online space, a lot of people are like, don't give away what you know for free. And I don't believe that, you know, like I believe there's some people that need to know how things work and then they need to like pay someone to do it for them. But there are the people that will like do it themselves. Like if they know what to do, like you, you know, and me, and we'll go learn it and we'll implement it. And I love that. It really helps me to keep on creating free products because I am so happy to help people who are like go-getters and will do it themselves, like no matter what, you know? So thank you for always being a huge cheerleader. And you know what? I find that 
in our industry that everybody's so competitive and they're so like, I have this, look at my this, look at this, I'm doing this. And me and D are like, D's like, yo, I'm a mom, I got the single moms club, This I live in Vegas. And I'm like, yo, I'm not going to the conferences, I'm smoking cigars, I'm traveling the world. Like we're just doing us. And I feel that's what keeps people like attracted to our content, tuning in, getting onto our programs because I'm not trying to sell you a software. I'm, D and I, we get affiliate incomes, we tell you what we use. And if it changes at any point in time, we say, yo, that ain't working anymore. This is where the money's at. Yeah. We go there. So we're always leaving little crumbs for our tribes. And I modeled Daniel Ford heavily when I made it. So it's like, yo, the value that I get from her just even still to this day, like, well, it's funny because she'll go through my funnels and then I'll go through her funnels. And I was like, oh, I see you, D. <laughs> <laughs> or like on each other's bots, like clicking all of the things, <laughs> and not just the answers, like trying to figure out exactly what's happening. So, sure. so, D, so D, like, this is a crazy world, and I just told how I got in there. That's your dog. So, I know your dog. Like, I, I see your dog all over the place. Like, I just, you, you, she just does such a great job of bringing her personal life into her brand, and that's how I feel it should be. So, D, can you tell people how you got into this business? Yeah, I really, um, I liked how you said, like, that you didn't go out for a year. That's extremely important. It's not... And also the fact that you were like, okay, I'm not going to take any real estate money. While I do not believe that people should like go crazy and like quit their jobs, like on a whim <laughs> and like go and like, I'm going to dive in and study this stuff. Like when you decide to, you know, transfer and have a business, like a completely different one, you can't have, you have to burn the boats. Like you can't have that extra income, that safety net. And I had this similar thing. So when I started to learned that I could stay home with my kids and uh, work from home and do freelancing and things like that. This was like nine years ago, pretty much. But um, I owned a skincare business and I was doing facials and waxing and I was training employees and I had my little like, I was planning on franchising it, you know, so I had my little employees working and it was, it was cool. It was working. But when I actually moved um, to a house by my business so I could be close to it, built the clientele and then I closed down my skincare business and I would still get hit up with like, I really need to get like a Brazilian wax or I really need my legs waxed or back wax or facial or whatever it was. And I, before my uh, skincare studio, while, while it was being built, I was actually waxing some of my clients like in my house, like on my kitchen, like island. And so I knew that I actually could if I wanted to, right? But I had to say no, and I had to like turn down all my clients. And even though there was still like the potential to make it at least like a few hundred bucks a week or whatever on the side, really, really easily, really quickly, I said no to it because I knew that I wanted my income to come from online marketing. And it's <laughs> when I was in Hawaii with my fiance, like a couple years into transitioning into the like the YouTube and the reoccurring income through ads and sponsors and SEO and things like that. And not just the income from like providing services and doing consulting and things. And <laughs> I started a new channel and I got my first affiliate payment. And so we're, we're in, we're in, I think Kauai at this, at this point in this like thousand dollar a night hotel. And of course me, like I can't not work when I'm on vacation. So I'm like in a bikini on my computer, but it's not like the gorgeous laptop lifestyle. Like people say, I'm like, I can't see it because the sun. So I have like a towel over me and I'm like huddled over trying to see things, you know, but I was there and I got a, a $6 or it alerted me. They had $6 from that month from YouTube. Right. And I was like, so happy. I was like, again, we're drinking like $34 drinks, you know, <laughs> we're having like several hundred dollar meals, but that $6 was like, yes, like this is what I wanted. I wanted like, the money coming in without me working for it and it's starting to happen, you know? And so from there, then it was like $12 the next month and like $30 and 60 or whatever. But you're absolutely right that you have to burn the boats and you have to completely 100% focus and invest in yourself and take the time to, to dive in and do the work that other people will not do and figure stuff out and just get it done. D, you said so much there. That's amazing that I really want people to take away. And, you know, some people might be saying, oh, that's only $6. Yeah, that check was only $6. And of course it went bigger. But what it was really worth, it was worth a million dollars because it proved to D and myself and you guys, once you experience it, that, yo, like you can wake up with money in your PayPal, in your Stripe, in your bank account. You can take Bitcoin. Like this stuff is legit. And when I was first getting into this world, like 
I mean, I'm, I'm coming from real estate. So I was like, yo, send me, send me a, a bank statement. Like send me an income statement. Like I need the last five years of your life. Like I check people out before I ever do business with them. It's like, I legally have to. And all these people are making all kinds of bold claims and D would share these kinds of stories. And it was just like great to hear. It's true. Yeah. And I like, I, we're the same. We're very similar in the way that we interact with our people online and by being authentic and authentic doesn't always mean like being like super vulnerable or sharing everything, but it's just like telling the truth and like being like real about it. And so it's not, it's not easy, you know, by no means is it easy, but it's doable, especially if you follow people who have done it. And if you follow people who have done it that aren't like Russell Brunson and Grant Cardone, not that I don't like, like love those people, but they're like so far ahead that you can't, you can't emulate what they're doing to get the results. You have to emulate people that are like a few steps ahead of you that are emulating people who are even farther ahead of you, you know, because you can't just get from A to Z. You have to get from A to D and then D to F and yada, yada. But it's, it's hard, you know, and to be able to come on and be like, okay, guys, this is, this is really tough, but I need you to follow, follow with me. <laughs> I need you to do this and do that. And you will have results. Um, I, I like that you have that similar approach as me instead of just like, Oh, quit your job, do this. You'll make money so fast. Pay me $2 million and yada, yada. Do you know, D there's just, there's so much this value. I want to jump onto like what you actually do. Cause we haven't talked about what you actually do to help businesses and people, you know, <laughs> talk about your story, you know, and you're just really helping people with their mindset. And I just really encourage you, if you like her vibe, her conversation, like literally her thoughts, the way she perceives the world changed my freaking life. Since I started listening to D, I've been location independent. I literally can choose where in the world I want to be at any given point in time. And it's only because I followed what she was saying. So if you like that kind of stuff, go follow her. Go check out her pages. It's a, you know, Danielle Ford LV everywhere, right? Yeah. Social media is Danielle Ford LV. And then the website is DanielleFord.com. But yeah, so to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, um, well, I was always like, even as a kid, very like techie and nerdy and even though I did have some sort of a social life, I was, you know, kind, kind of friendly with everybody. I was still like on a Friday night in my teen years when I could have been out and about, I was like on AOL in chat rooms that were like, rate my profile. And we would like, this is when like WordPress didn't really even exist yet. Like it was just getting started and we would take like HTML codes and build like these things in like our profiles that look like a castle and we'd give each other a score. And so I've always been really into like, the future and like technology and where it was going. And I've always also like wanted to make a difference and seen like the possibility of the internet and how you could like, how you could have a message or teach someone. And it's so much bigger than one-on-one, -on -one, you know? And I come from a background where it's like work hard. And if you are too greedy, then that's bad. And you should, if you get money that you didn't work for, it's not like really yours to have. And I never really believed that, you know? Luckily, <laughs> lucky me. So I was always really intrigued by the way that you could create value and have like some sort of return. Um, I ended up pregnant at 17. And then I was like, holy crap, what am I going to do with my life? So I went to beauty school, did like a six month full time program, got my aesthetic license the same month that my peers graduated high school, got married, became an army wife, did all that, had another child, left him um, with like no money in my name, drove back to Vegas, slept on the floor for like six months while I saved up money, and then decided to start using my aesthetic license and building my clientele. And I eventually opened my own business after studying business. That was the time where I really focused and studied. And I studied more about like business to be able to learn um, how to have a business. That's more important at first than marketing. Because if you're just marketing, you don't have anything of substance to market, right? So now I help purpose-driven entrepreneurs, a lot of service-based people, to take their skills and their talents and convert that into an online model. And that can look different from everybody. At its core, it looks like a funnel, but it could be Facebook bots. You know, you can implement that kind of strategy. You could use video. Uh, I love video as a way of people to be able to scale and get authority and really get their messages heard. Um, so my company will build stuff for people, but I am a teacher and a strategist at my core. 
And so, and that's, I think that's the biggest value that you have is that you have the extremely technical knowledge. Like I, a, a real quick hack, go to Danielle Ford's YouTube page and go look up her YouTube tutorial. In like the first three minutes, you're going to find enough stuff to get your subscription <laughs> to go to the next level. So I've been bumping out like a hundred and I was at 126 videos and I had 140 something subscribers. And I was like, man, um, and I remember D used to say this. D used to say, like, don't be the best secret in the world. You know, everybody doesn't know who you are. And I was like, man, D's right. Nobody knows who I am. Nobody knows how awesome I am. You know, I'm just like <laughs> going around, you know, saying this to myself. And I watched her YouTube video and I added this little subscribe button on the right hand side. And literally, literally the night that I added that, she'll show you exactly how to do it. If you like the way she speaks, like the way she presents, she breaks you down or breaks it down. And then she shares her screen and says, click here. Do this. This is why you click here. This is why you do that. And she really talks about the strategy. And that's where I feel a lot of the people are showing you, oh, yeah, this is how you do stuff. But Daniel Ford tells you why you do this stuff. And if you catch her live, like I love catching her live, I'll say something and she's all like, that's a good idea, Frank, but try this, try that. And I was on one of her webinars or something. I was like, I was like, I want to do a million things that you can do with virtual assistant. She was like, Frank, tone it down, maybe do like three. And I was like, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Well, I know that's kind of the entrepreneur. A lot of us have like, we want to do all of the things, but it, it's like, why? Especially when doing, especially when crafting your freebie. That was, I think, the most recent one I did. And people come to me and they're like, I really want to do a webinar. I really want to do this, like a challenge. I really want to do a video series. And it's like, but why? Like, what is the purpose? What are you trying to teach? What are you trying to accomplish? Do you need to waste an hour of these people's times? Do you need to like really ask them for 10 days of their life for a challenge <laughs> to, to like get the results that you want? Or could that have been like one ebook or one PDF, <laughs> you know? So thinking through like the process, even when we build like a funnel or if I create a funnel for myself and even my assistants will walk through it like, I'll be like, okay, I'm Jane and <laughs> I'm just getting started and you're Nancy and you're this and that. Now let's go through the funnel and it'll be like, what's going to happen? What does this seem like for Jane? What if Jane says that that's pr that price point doesn't work for me, then what's going to happen? You know, will it take her to a page? It's like, cool, get started here. What if Nancy's like, I don't want to do it myself. Um, I just, can I hire this out? You know, can't, is there a place for us to like just directly get her into the calendar for a discovery call or something? So it's like, really just being like why why it's like like kids like little kids where they're like why why do that with your own business and if you look through your website just be like why is that there why is that there what is this thing what's the point of that and you'll start to like it'll make more sense and most importantly all this stuff that like you don't need to offer don't need to say just clean it up I love that. I love that. Yeah. So definitely recommend that you, I'm in a challenge right now, the phone five, which is going on right now. And you know, I'm going through that process and just everything she says is a great reminder. If your experience with marketing, like you're just like, man, I should really look at that. I should really look at that. And if you're not, she does it in such a way where it's easy to follow along. It's technical at the same time as educational. And it's very simple. Like, you know, I'm a realtor guys. Like I know we're supposed to negotiate contracts, but all I do is smoke cigars and drink mojitos. <laughs> You like that house? Sign here. That's what, that's the world that I came from. And I didn't know how this stuff worked. And I really just suggest that you delve extremely deep into Daniel Ford's content. She has literally hundreds of hours of free video for you to check out. And every one of those, if you take the action, if you're an action taker like me, and if you're in the talent tribe, I know you're an action taker. So go out there, <laughs> take the action and make it happen. Um, Daniel, I, I don't, I want to respect your time. I don't want to jump off here in just a bit, but when it comes to doing business online, people always say that it's a scam. People always say that, oh, that could never happen for me. They have whatever self-limiting belief. What would you tell those kinds of people? Well, there's, there's people that are like just scam trolls. Like I'll be doing a Facebook Live about like giving hella good value and someone's going to jump on and be like, scam. And I'm like, okay, okay. Is that your professional opinion or whatever, you know? <laughs> but then there's people who like, are not like the, the scam Colorados, but they're just like naturally cynical. And I, I respect that, you know, because there are so many people who are like skeezy online and there are so many people, and we've seen it throughout, like marketing doesn't change, like the marketing at its core doesn't change, just the method of delivery and what's popular and trending changes. But you know, all this stuff that works online is the stuff that we've been sold through infomercials, you know? So even if it's their first, someone's first experience buying something online, they probably have had a bad experience buying from an infomercial or maybe they went to a conference and the, the speaker sold them on this crappy product that they bought in the back of the room or whatever it is. And so when people are cynical, I actually, I welcome that. 
because I, I respect it. You know, like it's, it's actually better to be cynical than to just like buy things because people just told you or whatever. Um, but the fact of it being a scam, a lot of people, a lot of it is a scam. <laughs> In fact, I think if the marketer is telling you like, oh, you can make all this money and you don't have to have any type of skill or talent or education or even be work, work hard or want to learn or put any effort into it whatsoever and you'll get rich. That's a scam. <laughs> red flag, red flag. Okay. But if you have uh, experience, you have a mission, you have a passion, you want to learn, you are already talented, you are already skilled at something, then there's absolutely a way to convert that online. And it can look a bunch of different ways. I love YouTube. I love funnels. I love social media. In fact, not just social media, but like hacks, like I'm all about automation. So I focus on visibility, automation, and traffic. And there's still, even besides that, there's so many ways to use online marketing and the internet to grow a tribe, grow your business, make sales, become an authority. It's like playing shoots and ladders. And, and you know, before the internet, you had to walk this way. And now you can have one video go viral and you're taking a ladder all the way up to success, right? And that's the power of the internet. And I think to not, not take advantage of that, while it's still really new, we think that we see all this competition and people doing what we're doing, but it's still really new. And if you're one of the people that is watching this, listening to this, in Frank's group, even learning yourself, YouTubing, you are still on the cusp of this like emerging new world because there's a lot of people that don't even like think Facebook is going to last still. <laughs> you know, it's funny. So I have a digital marketing agency. I also have a millennial marketing agency mastermind for marketing agency owners all across the world. And one of the closes that we have in our trainings, we do a lot of sales training because I'm a sales guy. So we have one of the closes where it's like Mr. or Mrs. Business owner. Do you think Facebook's going to be bankrupt in five years? Of course not. Uh. Do you think Facebook's going to be bankrupt in 10 years? Probably not. And then we go on that for it. So we get them to say yes several times. So they see that it's going to be there. So we say, well, doesn't it make sense for you to have some type of presence right now? If you know, it's going to be here. They're like, you know what? You're right. Send me an invoice. Get it <laughs> over. It's like, got him. Boom. <laughs> got him. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So I love it. D, D, where can people get next to you? Where can people follow you? Where can the talent tribe and all the people watching this get next to you and get all your value? I would first go to my website, DanielleFord.com. There's a bunch of freebies on there, really valuable freebies throughout the different pages. Uh, and then uh, come find me on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash DanielleFordLV. And you'll see a link to my uh, marketing group that's really chill that I go and sometimes jump in and share hacks and tips and things like that. Uh, and just check out if you don't have a funnel or any automation for your business, my five-day funnel challenge will walk you through creating a basic sales funnel. Just like you said, like it can be, there's so much stuff you could do with automation, but there is really like a way to set it up standard and make sure you're doing it right and adding in all the correct opportunities. And then from there you can like get all crazy with like bots and stuff. And um, yeah, that's, those are some places I would check out. Word, word, guys, you got to take my word on it. <laughs> If you vibe with D at all, if you vibe with me at all, check her out, watch three of her videos from start to finish and take the action. And if you don't get results, I'll buy you a cigar and I'll smoke it with you. <laughs> I'll smoke it with you in your state. Hey, my name's Frank Salas. I go by the name, the talented Mr. Salas. And I want to just say thank you and acknowledge you for watching this video the whole way. If you're watching this and you want to work on your marketing, you want to get some money from online, you know that this world exists and you have all this knowledge, but you don't have any clients. Come hit me up. Come hit D up. We have completely similar yet different styles, and we share where I have gaps. She fills them in. She's D. D is the reason I'm here, guys. So hit up D. Hit me up and follow her. Hasta luego. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, guys.